Hi, I'm Victor Vargas. Welcome to this Daily Bark. And here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. The other one, Martin. All right, so this one, my intent was to bring in the arabesque. <laughs> and this one was cool because what I chose as my arabesque was the Pythagorean uh, fifth. Uh, it's a pretty neat arabesque, so I just laid it on top of it and went ahead and started darkening out. You can see where on the left side, you can see where it's darker on the eyes, on the nose, especially in the nose, um, lip, the goatee, the shirt, and the idea was to get it to get it to look like it's rising. Um, that was something interesting. I mean, did you guys see it rising? I could could you could you spec that out for me with some lines? Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, bring this image in here real quick. There. This is what, what he used. Um, so you can see where you brought in this this arabesque here. Um, what I'll say on this, Martin, is it's a good attempt. <laughs> Okay, um, but it's but it's pretty clear that you're 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 still unclear of what what you're doing with this layer, um, and so so in this case, uh, let's say you have this. No, oh, you can't see that. Let me draw it on here real quick. So you have this curve coming down through here, right? Mm -hmm. So it might have been good to somehow incorporate part of that curve into the image somehow. Um, this here, maybe you could have curved that nose, the, you know, this one going up, this one coming down like this, this going up. And what you want to do is try to start like pulling some of these image, uh, some of these lines that are from this arabesque in here. So you have a straight line here. It might have been kind of better to pop out a line here. See how now that's starting to turn up there. Oh, okay. Then you then you start. Um, now the thing is, is you you you're, you have this diagram of this arabesque, and you're trying. It doesn't fit your image, right? But on this angle here. On this neck, I mean, this is a straight line, but this would be a perfect place to use that arabesque where all you're doing is really kind of bulging it out just a little bit and coming back in. But it's very, very light, right? So now that gives you a little bit of a slight curve, still gives you a vertical thrust, but a slight curve, but I mean, that's a huge chunk right off that arabesque, right? Yeah. And then you could come into here, bring this little mark up so that it falls right up on that line. So now you're basically making a point, point, point. And then you could even have changed his hair to come back, you know, like that. Hmm. Yeah, I know I know exactly what what it's what what's my mindset now. I'm stuck in, in the grid layer. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 each each layer has its own nature. Yeah. And um uh, my favorite layer is the is the is the curved layer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this curve here, you could bring right down there. You can mimic it right there. You see how this comes here? You could just cut it off right there and and mimic that. Yeah. And, and so it's just like this image is really powerful with the vertical with the verticals and horizontals, but it could just use just a, a little softening on the edges, not much. Mm -hmm. um, and now, now it's starting to move, and then you could have even decided to maybe even bring the the uh, the shirt oh, yeah. to, to fall back into there. Last attempt, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.
<laughs> that's fine, man. That's that's, that's, yeah, that's fine. part of the learning yeah. curve right there. <laughs> Next time you get to crush it. Yeah, uh, now I now I get it. So here you are, and then this is a, a little bit of a different attempt, or or is this just a little more um, finished off? Uh, now that you said that, now you got me questioning myself. <laughs> I think you did well. Um, yeah, the, the main probably yeah. the last thing I noticed was is I wanted to get the the, the going the pulling up. Uh huh. The line weight mm -hmm. from his head is totally completely different from the bottom, and that was something I didn't catch till the end. I'm like, wait a minute, I need to go back and change a couple things because it didn't. It looked like it was too heavy on the bottom, and I had it all thick all the way around. Mm hmm. Um, maybe that was the other image coming in and kind of clashing, but I picked it up just before I scanned it in. So it looks, it looks better to me now. I mean, there's probably a couple things I can do to it. Um, but I like it. It's, it's, I have a feeling that the value layer is going to just do a lot, but if there's something you see that, I'm not considering. <laughs> well, each, each layer gives you a different power. Okay. Yeah. So you want to be careful to say, well, you know, uh, I'm not, I didn't really crush it on here and I'm going to make up for it in the value. Don't, don't put onto the value, you know, the responsibility of the, of the curve layer, you know, just you, 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 you do it one more uh, shot at this. You're going to be at a whole nother platform. You do two more shots and you'll, you'll, you'll have it like, peanut butter and jelly, you know, you'll know how to make it. Um, this, I don't see an arabesque running through it. I don't, I'm not sure you were attempting to do that with this. No, just rounding it, it out. It, but that's another exercise is curving these corners. And I think you did it excellent. Um, uh, accident, uh, whatever, you know, really, really great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think you did it too much. It's like every line you did it on, right? Um, and so you want to be able to make better decisions. It doesn't have to be every curve, but it shows that you know what you're doing um, and you know how to soften an edge. Yeah. And both sides balanced, Martin. Yeah, that was your uh, little critique. <laughs> so I got a satisfied bill. <laughs> 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 it's funny, Bill, you say that because when I looked at it, that's the first thing I looked for. I'm like, did he balance it out? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any comments about this? Um, I have a small comment, and uh, I just wanted to ask Martin. Martin, those arabesques which you made, did you make them by hand? But like, in, you drew them on the other one. Um, oh, no, that was already, it was on the, yeah, that was on the internet. And, and okay. It's, cool because it has to do with music that's okay can you can you send me the link i really like them okay yeah actually. all right and on, on the other one which you are sharing the curvy thing um i i, I don't know i'm just wondering uh, i don't sketch uh, but um uh, victor can you show the other one uh no no yeah the last one the curve one which he was on I'm just wondering if we add a patch of hair, like something like a mohawk or something, do you think that would give that sense of the whole thing rising up? I don't know. Just asking. You could add an, a, another element. I, I often try to stay away from adding representation to solve the problem Okay. and focus on composition. So I think Martin's original solution of uh, lightening the value or the weight of the line is, is mm -hmm. probably a better solution. Um, okay. so not, now adding a little vertical element at the top of the head would, would be a solution. It would help throw the vertical. Um, mm -hmm. But I would hold off on, on changing the image or the intent of the image and mm -hmm. just focus on seeing if you could do it with, uh, you know, your, your, your design elements. Okay. All right. Thanks. So I'm thinking all these curves here. Now, now the image is starting to really feel. Your eyes are starting to go around. 
-hmm. and play around the image. It's not having this whoosh, this 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 thrust up. All right. And 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 so having so many curves that actually you know cut the the the, the vertical thrust out. From yes, I I think the the previous one where he had straight lines that had a lot of vertical. Uh, thrust uh, to the upper part of the image, but this one yeah. is this one focuses more on the face because all the elements are quite curvy. Yep. And so that's a, I mean, it's a great exercise, Martin. You know, this is a, they did a beautiful job in this. Now this, you could use this um, for a whole nother piece, right? Mm -hmm. This almost feels like he's at that one part of the music where he's just kind of his head is kind of like bobbing back and forth, you know. He's kind of very in that moment of he's content, you know. Yeah. Um, not that he's at that what do they call it crescendo or whatever part like the like he felt like he was in last week. Um, yeah. He's at a very different part of the music. So yeah, good job, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go back and it, it does. Yeah, like, you're right. It doesn't look like it's ascending. Like it's not. He's not yeah. rising up anymore. It's kind of yeah. like. Uh, so I would recommend giving yourself another week with the curves before moving on to the values. Okay. I want you to feel confident and and and, and be clear in what you're doing. So when you get into the values. Um, you know, you, you go in with that confidence and you don't have that residue of, uh, you know, like you snuck into the back door or something. <laughs> okay. And you get into the value layer. I want you to be like, I earned this layer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to put in work. <laughs> right. So great job, man. Great job. Anybody have anything else before we move on? No, it's good. I like it. Cool beans. Brian, Anna. I thought that is it is it so important to use arabesque there? In this in this image? No. Yeah, because what, what I see is possible to use the enclosures mm -hmm. as that I would make this round enclosures big uh, grown from his forehead and like bigger, bigger, bigger. <clears throat> as uh, as an image of radar, like something, go the idea or the wow. music is playing in his head and going out of it. Because for the arabesque, it would like uh, I don't know. He's not a snake, actually. Like yeah. he's not a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would just uh, spoil a bit features. Uh, it's very beautiful work right now. For I would not uh, make it. Uh, Curvy. It's straight, oh. and I, I loved it straight. Actually, I would even leave it as it is without, without any curve. Yeah, like from this place, and then uh, mm. the nose. Let's say lips, all okay. head, and like it would grow. It's funny you say that because what inspired Martin was when we were in a uh, a meetup we actually talked about something very much like this. And um, so now when I'm pulling these out, Martin, I'm, I'm intentionally stopping on lines that you already have. So you see how the eyes curve down? Yeah. Well, you know, you might want to do something like that and now curve them towards each mm -hmm. other. And then you just, See how that's coming out? And you could do that over your image. You could use a compass, put it in there, and just start swinging compasses. Yeah. You could do it on the computer and print it out. Um, and then, obviously, when you draw it, you would then take all these little marks and start modifying the nuances in your image. So here, this might come over to this point and then come down. Coming here, boom. Okay, this you might even extend all the way up, up to there. 
up to those. So what you're doing is you're really, again, making point, 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 point relationships, a little bit of a line. This extends over, so erase it and cut it off there so it ends there. Gives you that. You can already see how this is starting to boom, boom, you know? Yeah. And then to add on to that, if, if you were to take uh, concentric circles, if you were to take, I guess, I guess this is the one, right? Put a circle here, I guess. You have a circle in there, and you have another circle around here, and the, the last mm -hmm. circle is here, and then you have that, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And you have another, you know, smaller circle up here, so you can get your your arabesque like that. Mm -hmm. I like that idea, Bill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, see, for some reason, my mindset's telling me, don't get away from the line layer from which you stuck. You know, you <laughs> put it intentionally in that grid for a reason. Now it's like, okay, now you get to go, woo! <laughs> well, remember, the next layer, remember, the next layer actually isn't the value layer. It's the merge layer, right? Yeah. And so this is perfect. I mean, this is, you did a great job because all you did was focus on uh, one aspect of the um, curves. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this curvy layer and you're going to take that straight line layer and merge them together in the merge layer. Uh, and so that's when you make a decision, okay, do I want this to be 80% straight line and 20% curve or do I want a 20% straight line and 80% curve or 40-60 or whatever the ratio is that suits your you know, what it is that you want to, uh, whatever sensation you want to share. Um, so you, you, you can make those decisions. So this is, this is really good for what it is. Now when you merge it together, now you want to make that, that decision on how much line do you want, how much curve do you want. Yeah. And you probably more times than not want more line than curve. Most artists draw and compose and design with straight lines. Options, got many options. 